hello guys hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening whatever the time is over there welcome back to my youtube channel Tada! if you're just stumbling on this channel for the first time you are highly highly welcome please don't make it your last keep coming keep coming consider smashing the red subscribe button like this video give it a massive thumbs up comment share and all this good stuff you know um i'm thrilled to have you on my channel i love you i love you thanks for coming to watch my video for the first time now if you're a returning subscriber you know how we do it on this channel you know i love you real good i love you real good i love you god bless you all real good please tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody that knows his uncle aunt his sister son <laughs> child daughter whatever that is in the spirit of jackpa to come on to this channel and what also leave in the comment section the kind of videos you want me to make as regards jackpa and this is one of the frequently asked question i have gotten how do i relocate to the uk via the carer route i feel this channel has long yeah, yeah, yeah. stated it previously and i've overflogged this issue even before i relocated to the uk i've overflogged this issue the issue i have with people is that they don't really want to get a source for information they don't really want to pin their ass down to sit down and watch someone else's video they just want to get your number contact you and tell me straight up what to do back 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 do a do b do d and they just want people to eat their money <laughs> but you know what i am not collecting your money for this content i'm creating i'm doing it for free so at least you should accord me some bonus by watching my video watching the ads and supporting this channel by thumbs up and commenting if you're getting value for your data on this channel if you're getting the kind of content you want it will be so unfair for you to just watch and don't give it a thumbs up that's like and it's also be so unfair for you not to comment please kindly comment even if you don't know what to comment just write thanks for sharing <laughs> and god will bless you real good now mm, mm, mm. If you like content about care route and so on just sit down and relax and enjoy the video more especially a recruiter just contacted me yes a recruiter just contacted me and said please if you have contacts of persons who are willing to relocate to the uk or to come into the uk oh gosh that's my son or to come into the uk as a nurse Give me their contacts. I want to bring them in. And I was like, is it hope it's not just for people who are in UK only? She said those outside the country also. And I asked what about the healthcare systems because people are willing to come via the care route. And she was like, I do that too. I was like, wahoo. So if that's what you're interested in, just sit back and let's get right into this video. Thank you. just decided to stop by on my channel and this is the dude gosh don't spoil my mic uh i know it's light don't touch it L let's continue our video are you ready to stay in this video or not okay you said okay and you said touching my mic david yes. so let's go off my mic you don't have to touch it <laughs> shit <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Baby, whatever you say is entering, is going in. Yes, it's going in. I say something. Say hello, guys. Step by step, number one. You have no business with relocating to the UK if you don't have your international passport. So I won't count international passport as number one. I'll keep that as a prerequisite, one of the preliminary things you need to have before relocating. So number one, as a carer, you have 
to have in mind that you need your care certificate. Now, what is your care certificate? There are some professional courses people do online, which, for instance, let me use an example of uh, those who have been to NYC, you know, in your Sahid and things like that. You hear people say, uh, I'm doing a professional course, I'm doing a professional course, a short course for one month, two months, three months, and so on. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. You need to have professional certificates generally basically care certificate is something you don't like you can see that on alison read.co.uk you can see that on cpd online college and so on now it's a short course where you have to take about um like 15 15 causes 15 topics rather let me not scare you where you have to do about talk about care how to care for people how to protect their vulnerability how to Help them live a better life. Just basic care. And if they're kind of good type of person have cared for your aged grandmother and so on. You know what I'm talking about? You know, basically care. It's just a shot. You can do it. Somebody did this in three days, finished the causes. Someone did it in eight days. Another person did it in a month. Depends on you if you can just decide to, okay, it's my phone. I'm just scrolling through. So firstly, you have to have a care certificate. You can do it online. It is free. Some persons pay for certificates after the free training, while others, they pay about 20,000 naira. That's the highest I've heard about for the course, but it's actually free. You can see it's free online, and there's no preferential treatment as to those who paid for the courses and those who had it free, you know. Not all fingers are equal, so the UK makes things easy, and so the internet. <laughs> Okay, guys, now, after you get your case certificate, remember I said number one is a case certificate. After you get your case certificate, you have to proceed into getting your experience. Now, you care the big on experience, but some persons volunteer to work in a care home. Some volunteer to work in a care home. Some persons volunteer to work in hospitals. Some volunteer to work in old people's home just to get this experience then some persons who doesn't have this formal experience make use of their informal experience of caring for their aged parents grandparents great grandparents loved ones physically challenged children children with special needs and so on and that's a plus or advantage for them now thirdly the first I said care certificate, second you have to get your experience and thirdly you have to have your IELTS, yes, you have to have your IELTS, that's where you prove to the UK government that you can speak English, you can speak and write English. Now there are some persons who waive this IELTS by having generic formerly called Maric, presently called ECTIS, E-C-C-T-I-S. How to do with that? Only for those who have done BSc degree minimum. You can have an advantage of having your master's on top, PhD on top, but the minimum is your BSc or any equivalent. Now, you're going to get your certificates. Of course, you must have graduated from university already. Get your certificate for you to be able to evade this part but for those who have not graduated from graduated from the university and wants to jump you have no choice than to write ielts now they have the difficult one which is them difficult but nothing's actually difficult trust me they have the difficult one and they have the lesser one which you put them as market women english <laughs> that one is the general ielts that's what you need to write don't go and write the ones that is difficult for that's the academic, that's the layman term I'm using. The difficult one is for nurses and medical doctors and so on. So as a carer, you just need to have a minimum of band four. You can have band five, band six. Just so fast, you write in English. That's what I'm talking about. But if you want to evade that route, you have to have your BSc degree and convert it via access to an English proficiency certificate. That one you will submit a document online and um, via the Exis site, exis.com. You submit your document online. You have a letter from your de department in school, preferably your registry. You get a letter from them which says 
he or she was taught for an example jessica west is a graduate of Benidorm university of Kada. she studied law and her law degree was taught in english her law degree was taught in english and her certificate was produced in english then you have to have your transcript these three things you have to have a certificate from the university so if you don't want to write i e l t s you have to have a certificate from your university a transcript from your university and a letter which shows that you were taught in english language and your certificate was written in english not in arabic <laughs> then with these three things you submit to the exes.com website you pay a fee of you pay a fee yeah then you will they will convert it into a certificate that can stand as your equivalent to your ilts as a carer then you use that to add to your care certificates now your english proficiency test certificate you add it to your care certificate and you get another document from the care home which has recruited you which is called a certificate of sponsorship that's cos you get these three documents and use it to apply for your visa but before you get there you have to have your before you get to the visa stage you have to apply to care homes care companies the nhs that's the government hospitals in uk any of them who are willing to accept you you have to prepare your cv as a special and a unique way of preparing the uk standard cv i prepared mine myself so if you want me to share that with you i'll gladly do that you have to prepare your cover letter that's the letter accompanying your cv don't just send in your cv you have to write your application i did that myself also i paid nobody <laughs> change my life this saying agents no shop for my money <laughs> because i'm a researcher so why should i pay someone to research for me and apply for me it doesn't make sense so for me to come here to tell you i like that's to apply for my visa i did everything apply application for my job i did everything myself so back to the gist you need to have that and you apply to a care home care company whichever it applies to those applying to legal firms if you're then accounting firms if you're an accountant and so on but you don't need to do the care certificate part okay so back to the care certificate part when you're done with that you just have to apply and any company chooses you remember you have to stand out your cover letter have to be outstanding your cv have to be outstanding there's a way you package this your cv eh? <laughs> if you don't even do only one thing for this life you'll get how you can use words monkey pepper salt take adam package i'm not gonna tell i'm not telling you gonna lie you <laughs> you know i hate it when they say lawyers they lie we don't lie we only stretch the truth so you do that you package yourself and you apply and you definitely keep applying each day just be applying to like 30 30 companies minimum and one will definitely get through to you willing to sponsor you now there's a dicey thing here some people that you will meet might even ask you for money to give you the job but trust me it is better in this country it's mostly um people who are not british originally that does that the plain or you woman no go call money for you to give it up trust me and it's preferably to work for it's preferably to work for those who don't ask you to pay for series than to work for those who ask you to pay for series okay now when you get the job you're moving okay is there anything i'm missing out if there's anything i'm missing out please comment comment it down in the comment section i've mentioned you have to have your care certificate your experience you have to have your um, english proficiency test and you have to make your 
application letter which is your cover letter catchy you have to make your cv enticing and inviting not the nigerian way of writing cv but the uk standard of writing cv in uk they don't care they don't guard them care about your age they don't guard them care if you're from asari toru local government in river state they don't care you don't need to tell me that you don't need to tell me your old 65 years old people still get jobs in this country 16 years old people get part-time jobs in this country 18 years people get full-time jobs in this country so what are we not talking about they don't need to know my hobbies are swimming laughing jumping crying dancing acting i remember when i started <laughs> secondary school teaching how to write saving and so on and i left secondary school i was writing my my hobby is singing, acting, and dancing. I will never forget these three hilarious things. Well, actually, that's my hobby. Now, back to what I was saying. So that's how you're gonna do to get yourself a job in the UK. If you want more, I have given a detailed video previously in the past about this career route. So just scroll down and watch it. It talked about Canada and UK. In the past so just go back and watch it on this channel now so the agency contacted me i'm gonna leave the message sent to me and my response on the screen that they're interested in bringing in people okay she can she started by saying do you have any contact of those who are interested in working nurses in the country with no job I was like there are job offers available should they find you man should they find people i was like wow okay do you accept um, and this has to do with visa sponsorship do you accept people who are currently outside the country because i know most people like people who are in the uk already so it makes it easy i see you you see me we want things we sign in maybe the one we do for um Sokoto, the fan waiting day in Shokoto. So she she was like, Yeah, we do. I was like, okay, because most of my viewers are not basically nurses per se. There are a few nurses, but we have healthcare systems also. Are you ready to take healthcare assistance from outside the country? She was like, Yeah, we are ready to do that so long as they're not in the red list country. I was like, mm. I dear the close the that's the challenge and then i told that um basically most people who watch my videos are people who are from the red list countries now most countries in africa are, are termed as red list country even countries aside africa so there's some countries are termed red list country now this is what red list country means the UK government saw that um, some people in the country they're on the staff and they they keep running they are health sector is not really balanced now they keep running to other countries to donate help to give help you can't give what you don't have so they say okay you know what stay back in your country work for your country because you people are dying <laughs> stay in your country work for your country then when you guys are uh, stable enough health wise then you can now move over to work for another country Nigeria is one of them. We're in the red list country, okay? Ghana is one of them. Zimbabwe is one of them. Uh, where should I not mention? Togo is one of them. Keep, keep mentioning, keep mentioning. But if you want, if you uncertain as to if your country is part of the red list country, you can see that on gov.uk website is clearly stated in the list of the red list countries. Everything proper, 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 proper. So now what it means, it doesn't mean you can't come in because I am from a red list country. And if you know, I just relocated to the UK a few months back. I'm from the red list country. It means that you can come into UK on your own. Now I'm not talking about you, your family, your children, you're not relocated with my full family to the UK. When I mean on your own, I mean without the help or assistance of an agent or agency so this agency cannot help you if you're in the red list country except you just want them to link you to companies that you will apply directly to then that's fine but if you want them to do all the processes and the um to go through all the processes do your processing and what have you you are not going to get it the uk government will not recognize an employment done by an agency for you so you have to diy do it yourself i like the fact that the uk government is giving uh, is giving 
an avenue for those to do it themselves even if you're from a red list country so people keep coming to my dm ah they said they need to take a game no they said they need to take a game we don't enter red list country they red list country if they don't have play from red list country my dear i am from a red list country and i came into this country i'm from a red list country and i came into this country so you see don't follow agents come by yourself and they'll give you the job with this, I hope I've been able to convince you and not to confuse you. The people from Red Lake Country are also employed in the UK. So long as you don't come via an agency or an agent. You get me? If you don't get me, forget about it. You're going to pay for a consultation fee to hear me. What? <laughs> this boy. <laughs> yeah so guys that's it <laughs> so guys smash the red subscribe button like the video comment and share <laughs> <laughs> so guys smash the red subscribe button like the video comment god bless you real good i love you guys from me to you bye bye